Hello, everyone! Why am I singing every intro? This is Foldhouse playing Wario Land 4 and Red 1 quite easily this time. So I guess this is retribution for not getting voted at all last time. And we are going on to Factory World with the Curious Factory. So, first level of Red Town. You got yourself some blocks and you got the introduction to blocks with spikes on head. That's its, uh, that's its name that it was given to it by its parents, but, uh, he doesn't like to use that name too much because it sounds a little strange. Uh, but please don't look too far into that statement because, I mean, I'm just saying things as I progress because that is what you do when you don't have anything planned when you speak things. And I want to go up here. Yeah. All right, all right. I'll go all the way over here. Gah. And I'll go this way. And then as you can see, there's a hole there. So you can't exactly do that. Or can you? Well, see, for only three easy payments of all of your money. Nobody can afford that, never mind. For only one easy payment of half a penny, I will, some, I will send you to jail because you're not supposed to cut pennies in half because I think they're supposed to not be. Instead, I'll just, uh, not get hurt by this guy. Go over here. Go yeah and yeah, and I need to check that wall just because it probably doesn't mean anything because this, it, it's it, this world doesn't really have hidden things like that. I don't think maybe it does. This is the this is probably the world I remember the least about. But anyway, that guy is invincible to uh, everything. It seems like. Come on, hit me. Now I'm flat. Do you remember? The wonderful world of Warrior Land 3 and how this was a setting you could be. Darn it. I guess I'll explain a gimmick of this level. Is you go in these things and they unflatten you. Because that is the way of the world, you see. When you go into a large machine that you don't really know the full functions of, you're going to get unflattened whether you want to or not. And if you aren't unflattened, well. I wouldn't suggest going in that machine, man. You know, you don't want to risk losing your hair or something. Because being bald, it's not that great. Trust me, I would know. I'm mostly bald. <laughs> and that's how you get this. Then you, go, then you go, yeah, and then you fall down here. Because there's no way to get through those unless you're flat as a pancake. Which is why I took all the effort to do that. And now then, we have to dodge these. Maybe. But in reality, it's just showing that how these things work. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it totally does it. Say. <laughs> but at least it was obvious about it. So here we're introduced to Professor Invincible. And we're going to throw him over here. And then, uh... Slide this way and grab this and then we're gonna go on our way very simple very compact very done very melon catch my heart very melon Etc So let's avoid getting flattened because that's silly and we're gonna go keep getting pounced on by uh, The Jamaican bobsled team. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing here, but they seem to be uh Produ doing their exercise shenanigans and the like. Don't ask me. I mean, I'm not part of a bobsled team. That's just silly. Why would I be part of a bobsled team? What purpose would that serve? I just lost a coin. I don't appreciate that, sir. I'm going to bonk you lightly from one side, and then I will progress onward with the level. For that is who I am, and that is who I will always be. And we're going around, and there's a wall that we can only pass. So, yeah. Hit him to red, and then you get nice coins. Hit him beyond, beyond, and they turn yellow again. They're similar to viruses from Dr. Mario. Okay, so here you gotta, you gotta do some shenanigans involving throwing this. And then, and then becoming a uh, uh, heart... Flatness. And you go, yeah. And 
you try your best to slide in there, but you fail, so you have to redo it. So you redo it. Yeah, and then you just hold right, because that seems easier. Ta-da! When you go here, you grab the lovely rock. Alright. You grab the rock again, because such is life. You lose the rock in water. And you lose your chances because this gear thing is a butt. So let's redo the room! Yeah! Isn't it great, guys? I've always wanted to have to redo a room because of a stompy thing. Alright, hit me, baby. Okay. Dang it. Okay. And we are through right after these messages from our sponsors. I don't have any sponsors. I got a gym, though, so that's nice. You know, gyms, sponsors, eh, I'll take the gym. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, because the gym is tangible and it exists. Meanwhile, the sponsors, they don't exist at all. Ow. You butt. Please, accept this smash in the face. Trust me. It's good stuff. Ha! Huh. I want that coin. Thank you. Please don't hurt me, you butt. Uh, I don't trust this cube up here. I don't trust this cube. Yeah, I thought so, you butt. Please accept this smash to the face as a token of my annoyance. Let's continue. I got the key already. Then we drop. And then we get on fire! And then we wait, because, you know, block. Oh, I need that. Wait. Oops. So, I got the key. Where do I go now? Hmm, this concerns me more than it concerns you because I'm the one currently recording. <laughs> uh, down I go! Oh, right. There's a wall here that you can go near. See, it's very technical. It's very technical with that kind of wall. The near wall is a very specific type of wall. Typically responds to bashing it against your head. Otherwise, it will basically ask for donations for the children's fund, which takes place uh, someplace. And I want that coin. And I'm going to die. Isn't that great? You want to see what happens when I die? Well, uh, if you didn't watch the previous episode, please go back and watch it, because that's where you'll see what happens when I die. Not gonna happen. Thank you very much. Whee. I like riding these because they make you go around in a circle. See, it's a very technical aspect of the uh, of a circle is that you go around in one. Uh, that that did not help. Oh, no. Huh. Uh. I'm missing something. It's called getting hit in the face. Good. Redo!
Oh, of course. It's right there. Bam! I did not get the key. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot to get the key. Oh, shoot. I forgot to get the key. Oh, jeez. I have to get lit on fire. Well, it's okay, because that was the quick way to get lit on fire. See, you jump right in that little cushioned area right there. And it bounces you around like a crazy person. So we're going to go over here. Well, I would have had to go over here anyway, so it's okay with me. See? Here's new stuff. Like this. And this. And these coins. You know, these coins, and that butt, and this butt, and this annoying section where you gotta flap your arms and stuff. And go like, wee, and then you go down here, and you float, and you float, and you float, and you float, and, uh, and you become a float, and, uh, then you get taken to a parade. And then you don't know what to do because you're being hung by strings and being watched by countless people. See, I had to, I had to think up stuff to say because I have to wait, wait, don't fall. Oh, looky at this! By chance, I found the CD. It totally wasn't on purpose. Actually, I completely forgot that that was how you get the CD. But I got the CD. So, ha on you, game. Actually, thanks, game, for flattening me when I wasn't exactly sure I wanted to be flattened. And now we do some fancy jumps. Reminds you a cool spot a little bit. Fun game, that. Cool spot. It's, it's a great game. And that's you get the last one of those, so now we just need to finish. Yeah. Climb the ladder. Climb in the ladder, snake eater. Uh, sorry. Uh, do I have to? Is this that one? Or can I... Can I, uh... Call upon the power of uh, Do Duo and Fifth. You know, the Fifth Do Duo. Everyone's heard of the Fifth Do Duo, right? I mean, Fifth Do Duo is the most well known member of the great Pokemon band. Go, 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 go. See, it's a, it's a very, very tricky name for a band. I want that coin. And then we're done. Ugh. That took a while. Because I died. And you don't want me to die. Why do I keep using that strange... Who are you, and why do you keep talking in my videos? I don't appreciate that. But I was 100 coins short of a gold crown. I'm not redoing the level. <laughs> my goal was not to get gold crowns and everything. I mean, I could if I really wanted to go for full perfection. But I don't think... Is there any rewards for getting gold crowns on anything? Because if not, I'll just ignore it. Till next time, everyone. We'll keep going in Ruby Zone. Till then, I'll see you all later. Ta-ta.